At Atlantic Bicycle, we are recumbent specialists with the largest selection in Florida of adult and recumbent trikes of all makes and sizes, tandem bicycles and recumbent tandems. We are located at 4980 West Atlantic Boulevard, Margate, Florida. Good morning, folks. Today, July 7th, uh, the 23rd day of the Tour of Discovery, and uh, I am on a bridge that uh, connects uh, Pennsylvania, um, crossing the Delaware, over to New Jersey. And the reality is, um, it's well, it's 8.40 in the morning, and I should be on the road. I should be pedaling, but the temperature today is going to rise to more than 102 degrees in this area. And, uh, well, that's actually dangerous because of the humidity factor. When you take that into account, it, it really feels over 120 degrees. Um, and so uh, I've been staying here at the Chestnut Hill house. And last night, uh, Linda and Rob uh, basically said, you know, you need to stay another day. Um, don't worry about it. It, it will be on us, um, which is enormously helpful um, but the reality is these trips are very expensive and um, every bit helps so you know the generosity of, of, of the people I've come across and uh, the generosity of those of you that have participated in the Green Miles uh, program sponsoring a mile uh, that makes a world of difference um, you know, uh, their sponsorship, but it, it it doesn't cover everything. In any event, it's a beautiful river. I wanted to come to the river early in the morning before it's touched by boats. I mean, there's a lot of water activity and uh, just a beautiful part of the country. Incredible people. Last night I wrote the article uh, for uh, Sunday's uh, Sun Sentinel Outlook edition, um, and it's it's about the the wonderful experience that I had on the 4th of July. I, I won't go too much into it, uh, that way, you know, won't spoil the, the well, well, the surprise of the article, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Um, this river is an ecological success. I was speaking yesterday with uh, Rob Castagna, uh, who is uh, the owner of the Chestnut Hill, and he was telling me that in 1982, there were no fish in the water when they, when they set up their operation here. There were no fish in the water, but gradually, uh, with uh, you know the environmental uh, regulations and and just uh, people that became conscious of the river, the fish have returned, and with the return of the fish, uh, the birds have returned. I mean, even to the point where he said that a neighbor had told him, oh, that he had seen an eagle, and he said, nah, you're gonna be kidding. There are no eagles around here. Well, sure enough, until uh, it happened that he himself saw an eagle. Um, so, you know. Mother Earth has this great ability of, of curing itself if we take the steps to make sure that uh, you know we, we give it a chance. Um, so a variety of fish, including a uh, type that uh, goes all the way down to the Atlantic and comes up to spawn, has returned. So uh, it's, it's amazing. I've seen a lot of uh, wildlife uh, on this strip. Uh, seen a lot of, um, well, black bear, deer, um, and a, a variety of birds, which is uh, difficult to photograph, but I have seen. So, you know, it can be done. Uh, we, we, we've made our mistakes in the past. The important thing is to learn from them. 